It's not difficult to diagnose a disease when you know what you're looking for. But what if you don't? A follow-up visit to my family doctor was merely thought to be slight anemia. Anemia is present in more than 80% of patients with MDS, yet anemia in older patients is often explained away or accepted as a normal part of aging. It is not. I was prescribed iron pills, told to use an iron frying pan, and to eat spinach. Many patients do not know that their unexplained anemia could be MDS. In addition, many community healthcare providers are not familiar with the most recent recommendations for findings that are suggestive of MDS, including when to refer a patient to a hematologist. Reaching the unreached is crucial in order to diagnose MDS. Ageism remains a factor in the pursuit of a diagnosis for unexplained anemia, yet effective treatments may overcome the anemia. Our first dot is the undiagnosed patient. Patients need to know what questions to ask and where to find resources. They need to be familiar with and able to communicate signs and symptoms that are prolonged and unexplained. I realized I was having fatigue and exhaustion with anything physical, but I tolerated this condition. Our second dot is community healthcare providers. They need to be educated about MDS as well so that they know when to refer and what tests to order to determine that a referral is needed. We must equip community healthcare providers with a simple tool to aid in the differential diagnosis of unexplained anemia. For example, this acronym. A hematologist is needed to review the testing already done and confirm that other causes of anemia have been excluded. The diagnosis of MDS offers the possibility of treatment and supportive care, as well as participation in clinical trials. Over six years of monthly Vidaza treatments and Procrit have extended my life more than 10 years. Which is why our fourth dot is the MDS Foundation. The MDS Foundation's role in this initiative is to connect the dots to alert our aging population to the potential symptoms of MDS, to educate community healthcare providers by delivering the tools necessary to explore an MDS diagnosis, and to encourage hematologists to perform the necessary bone marrow testing to accurately diagnose MDS. We will know we've been successful when aging patients understand the need for unique testing to explore their anemia. When community healthcare providers apply metrics for differential diagnosis of anemia in older adults, and when hematologists perform a bone marrow biopsy and cytogenetics to diagnose the undiagnosed. <laughs>